Hello everybody, welcome back to the brand new Aviation Jack video. I hope you're doing really well. So welcome back. Um, obviously for you guys it's not been any kind of difference in times for uploading. However, for me it is slightly different because um, I haven't actually filmed a video since the 4th of September. So then you're probably thinking, well how come we've had loads of content? Well, um, obviously I was uh, I filmed tons of videos um, prior to um, uploading. So I think I filmed about eight videos and then I'm actually getting uploaded through September, which is great. So um, yeah, so I have actually been at the uh, flight controls for about a month now. Um, so it's the 1st of October that I'm recording this. So um, obviously, it's about a month since I last recorded a video, so I'm hoping my flying skills are still up to date. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get into this flight. So we're gonna go today from Helsinki Airport, which is in Finland, up here. And we're gonna go to Copenhagen. Um, so for scenery today, we have, uh, who, who is it? Who in the Helsinki? I think it's MK Studios Helsinki. And um, and then we're going to go down to Fly Tampa Copenhagen, which is version 2. Um, searching the fleet, we have a fleet um, which is... Well, that's cool. Obviously, Sintorget Pro has also changed quite a bit since I last used it. Um, call sign today is 951. Pop that in there, 951. Um, kilograms, perfect. And I suppose we just press generate plan. Okay, cool. So here's our flight for today. So about one hour and 37 minutes, uh, 518 nautical miles. Uh, looks like we're departing off runway 15. We can double check that. There is ATC here, which is cool. Uh, looks, like, <laughs> looks like ATC is just not wanting to... There we go. We'll get two lots of it now. Um, so ISO approach runway 15. Uh, departure runway is 22 right. Ah, okay. So departing 22 right. So let's switch that to 22 right. Can you still do the NUNT for Delta? Possibly. Probably with the NUNT 3 November though. Let's switch it to that. There we go. Um, we'll export the flight plan into vPilot, like so. Uh, go to the flight plan page, load, and then this is one we want. 34,000 feet, um, and then the FS Lab, so A320. I put it in there, but I don't think we need to anyway. Anyway, yeah. uh, let's click fly now, um, and we can connect prepared. Weather's looking a bit iffy over Copenhagen by the looks of things. We might have some of this weather coming down. We might have passed it by now anyway. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Let's get into the flight deck and start planning this flight. Well, guys, so welcome to the simulator. Let's get into the flight deck. Here we are. Uh, we're going to head to the overhead panel, and we're going to get uh, battery one on, and then battery two on. Uh, we're going to request additional services that we can get the GPU on as well. So we'll wait for the GPU to arrive. We set the Q&H, which is 1027. Um, displays are already on. Probably switch on the MCDUs while we wait. There we go. MCDU 1. We'll get MCDU 2. Oh, why are you having issues? I'm sure it'll be fine, probably just because of thingy. Ham grits and no power on this one. It's on its way though. Cough, I feel like I'm throwing ages because it's all come new to me for some reason. <laughs> I mean, apparently it's there, so it should. There we go. External power on. Cool. Um, IR1. Oh, no. IR1. Get that cruise supply on. I think we'll pop on the dome light in here, it's quite dark. Nav lights, emergency exit lights. No smoke inside. IR2. And IR3. Perfect, okay, nice. So nothing else needs to happen right now. Maybe heat up the cabin. Actually, not going to do anything, I haven't got any pants on. Um, let's come over to the... Um, not options, what am I doing? At the Atsu page, we're going to check if I have um, the Hoppy network connected. Yes, we do. Good. So there is EFHK on. So we're going to connect to the ATC connection notification after we do our um, FMGC. Cool. Um, in actual fact, we can do this first. We'll go down to the Atsu menu, MTDU. Atsu, AOC, and then the init page. Um, initialize data request. 
switch on these screens. Right, putting ourselves then. So, cost index is, um, let's have a look, obviously got it all manually now, so it's take double as long. Uh, we'll go to the OFP. Um, cost index is, if I can find it, where is it, where is it? Five. Cost index is five. Fly and flight level three, four, zero. There we go. Fly and flight level three, four, zero. And then, uh, flight number is Foxtrot India, November 951. Perfect. IRS in it, let's align and confirm. Not sure why we haven't got that uplink. The sim brief should also basically do it, but we just changed some sim brief details, so I'll explain why. Uh, let's try again, see if it can now find a few things. There we go. It hasn't got an estimated time of arrival, um, en route, sorry, but it's 0147. Oh, let's we'll add 10 minutes on. Um, that's good. Go to the RFP data. <laughs> hasn't found that one either. Um, of course it hasn't. Uh, block fuel then. So the block fuel today is uh, 8419. 8419. Taxi fuel is 200. And the trip fuel is 3982. 3982. And then we'll do one here. And then our zero fuel weight, according to our flight plan, is 61.6. 61.6. Like so, standard time departure, it says 2.29. That sounds good to me. I'm going to do it um, just manually today because also instant. There we go, instant because it's going to take a while. So we just press send that. That should go straight in. There it is. Cool. And then if we head back to the boarding page, we can do that one. So um, we head this like 1,200. Maybe switch this to about 300. That should be about good. Um, 20. Sorry, not that much. Uh, 23. 41. And like 32. There we go. Um, request and then we'll just do it instantly as well. Um, so instant, oh my god, I hung it as a mouse right. Instant request. Cool, so that's balled in on board as well. Um, if we now go to the ATC, so communications menu, or that one, ATC menu, request, not request, <laughs> connection, notification, takes a while to get there. Um, we'll press Echo Foxtrot Hotel Kilo and hopefully it connects. Okay, it's not going to connect you yet, don't worry. Um, okay, so flight plan, departure. We're looking at a departure of runway. Was it 22 left or 22 right? I couldn't. can't remember. 22 right. ILS 22 right um, via the Nantes 3 November. Actually, in fact, maybe. Nah, actually, we'll keep it as it is. Where's the Nantes gone? There we go, Nantes 3 November. I'm pretty sure it will be that departure anyway. Um, so, via Nanto. It's a bit where we've got to put our airways in. So, um, here's a bit of, uh, so I won't show you all this. Like what I'll do is skip some. It's Y369. So, airways Y369. Like so. Um, and then it's the Rekdu RE. Sorry. Oh, Rek Rekdu. So guys, I'll leave the rest of it there, and then I'll see you all um, when I've finished doing this bit. So the flight plan just finished loading in, so we're going to start requesting clearance now from uh, departure. So uh, let's do that. Helsinki departure, Finland 951, requesting clearance to Copenhagen. We're in A320, stand 15, QNH 1027 with information, hotel on board. Canada plus one, clear to Copenhagen, number three, Stanford, departure, runway 22 right, squawk 1446. Clear to Copenhagen, squawk 1446, uh, runway 22 right, and the next 3, November departure, Finland 951. Cool, so we are on. Um, okay, no, someone else. Uh, 1446. There we go. 
six, nice. So we'll put that one in. Um, we already got the departure in, which is good. Next is the perfect page. Um, let's return to the AOC menu here, go to receive messages. Message new, that's just a slot, which is good, accept that one. Um, so if we go to the, just pay, take a few details here. I believe it's just a takeoff weight, isn't it? Um, takeoff weight is 62.1. Over here, 62.1 slash, and then looking for the Mac towel, which is 26.5. Cool. Uh, return, turn. I'm going to go to the perf request. Um, if it should be to two right, like so. Um, anti off wait, no, anti off, no. Here's our wind. Q and H. Takeoff weight is 62.1 and then MacTel 26.5. Send that through and wait for it. There we go. We're on the right page anyway. Let's go back to receive messages and wait for it to come through. We're going to start the APU now. Master switch on. Seatbelt signs on as well. Of course, it's getting pretty uh, dark now, isn't it? Or just cloudy anyway. Flaps open, start APU, pop on the fuel pumps. Okay, cool, nice. So performance has just come through. Uh, let's pop this in now then. So the V1 is 139, 139 and 141. Um, uh, flap 2 departure, slash up 0.4. And then the flex is 67. Right, so everything is good. I think we're ready to go now as well. So let's just switch this page um, back to the Atsu ATC. I wonder why we can't send it through yet. I wonder if it's because it's on the ground or something like that. don't know. Um, cool. AP bleed on. Packs on. External power off. We can add a bit of light up here actually. Beacon light on. Let's. Okay, we are dismiss dismissing the GPU, that was quite quick. TARA, we'll just do it all now. Uh, weather system 1, uh, predictive wind shear is also on. Let's turn up this volume as much as possible. Get a bit of lights on, I think. Not that light. There we go. So that's the thing with the default A3, like the one without Sharpie, is I don't like the yellow lights, but I suppose it's an older aircraft, they have yellow lights. But it's pretty dark here, isn't it? It's passing off this runway over here, by the looks of it. I was going to turn on V-Pilot, I can hear the sim a lot more than V-Pilot can. Right, cool. Right, let's start requesting push back and departure. Is the GPU gone? GPU's going. Nice. Okay, so um, prepare for pushback and departure. <clears throat> I request in push and start for that 951. Push back and start approved for that 951. Oh, there's a landing aircraft. It's a bit of water. What aircraft is that? 737 Scandinavian. Oh, they froze. They crashed. <laughs> it was me then. Now oh, they go, they carried on. Right, anyway, let's release them parking brakes and get going. The star engine number two. Take 
at all positions. Coming through on the doors, of course, check. 1's rising nicely. We actually notify ATC now, so let's do that. Oh, that's a nice. Before departure, we would like to focus on safety. Please follow this video closely as we will be demonstrating the safety features of our aircraft. Smartphones and other handheld electronic devices may be used from gate to landing in flight mode and in normal mode after landing. All other electronic devices, including laptops, must be switched off by a stove for takeoff and landing. Make sure that your armrest is in the down position and the window shade is open. Please raise your seat back to the upright position. Cool, we're just using voice, that's fine. Your safety belt is fastened by inserting the metal end into the buckle. It's a really nice, um, what do you call? PA, voice, um, safety announcement. Let's go taxi light, runway turn of flight. APU and APU bleed off. And we'll set flaps to arm the spoilers. Max auto brake. Looks good to me. So yeah, two to right just this runway here. Right, I have to mute this video. Really, actually, no, wait for the sec off, do whatever they need to do. And then we'll go. I'm not actually sure what taxi they're taking, but there we go. That's where they're going. <coughs> cool, right, let's request um, taxi clearance. I'm going to mute this really quickly just so I can hear the ATC a bit clearer. Um, there we go. Just move the pilot box a bit. Requesting taxi clearance for an 951 Sorry, we're departing runway 22 left for N951. Okay, hold on to hold, I'm going to point Zulu Delta to uh, cross uh, for N951. Okay, Zulu Delta, which is just in front of us. So how does that work then? Oh, that's where we're taking off. Get a bit of thrust going in. Let's do a config test. We've got someone um, on here. That just says hi YouTube. That's Scandinavian aircraft in front of us. So that's Scandinavian to the left of us. Um, just messed us with V pilot and was like, hi YouTube. <laughs> Obviously, know that we are currently filming a video. There we go. Right, so I suppose we just carry on down here um, to Zulu Delta. Let me just take off there. 
Okay, so we're just going to start line up for 2 2 right now. It's going via Delta. Out to here. We'll get the lights on now as well. So take off taxi lights. Line up runway 2 2 right at uh, Finet 951. Oh my god, did not mean to do that. So that a bit too sharp. Right, lights are on. Look at that over there, that looks nice, isn't it? Nice, right, let's line up then. Just move myself a bit closer in. Two to right cliff for takeoff for an air nine five one. Starting the clock, and we'll go fifty percent. Stable and Manflex SRS runway auto thrust blue and I forgot to disconnect this oh god I've ruined everything don't I look at that 100 knots checked V1 rotate positive climb rate gear up oh hello we're lacking a bit of immersion Bye Helsinki. And thrust climb climb. Can it please stop doing that? That would be nice. Thank you. Right, let's go to pilot 2. Passing 3100 feet uh, for the 951. Flavor 2 is a direct on the uh, for the uh, I don't know where that direct was to. I think it's probably nin um, Nonto. I feel that it was Nonto. Well, what's going on? Overspeed. Oh. I think you approached the air 1356, Left zero, three zero, ten flight level one hundred, expected vectors for runway one five, Cool. There we go. On our way to Copenhagen. Standard pressure. That's pretty. A bumpy departure out of Helsinki.
and 10,000 feet. So London lights off, uh, taxi and takeoff lights off as well. And silk doesn't come off as well, it's not too bumpy. Right, okay guys, so I shall leave it there and I'll see you all shortly. Bye bye. Welcome back. So we're going to start planning for the arrival now into Copenhagen. We do have um, Sweden control on us at the moment. If we go to the flight plan page, I've already put in the arrival, uh, which is runway 22 left on the TIV uh, 1 November arrival. And um, we do have ATC of approach on. Um, we're going to go to the approach page. Are you finding the way to Vandam or are you still routing towards uh, Elvik? At the moment it's still towards Elvik. We don't have that on our flight plan unfortunately for the 951. Um, Q and H is E S S O. Here we are. Uh, Q and H is one zero one seven. Temperature is thirteen degrees, and the wind is one seventy at null god nineteen knots. It's gonna be a windy arrival. Uh, and, and there we go. Right, let's head back to the flight plan page. And that's good, so there's no discontinuity, it's perfect. Right, so we are good for arrival now. Um, I shall see you when you're 12%, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Right guys, so we're just going to pass 10,000 feet now, so we're going to pop on them landing lights, run with turn off and take off taxis, there's a seabell sign as well. We've gone direct to Venom and um, we've got ATC approach as well. Not currently on approach, but um, we do have approach ATC. Also, we've been told to go to stand Alpha 7, also that's not what the ATC sent us, what the flight sent us, so we'll see what gate we get sent to. Doesn't mean we've got to go off that, but it's there anyway. That's going to slow down a bit, pop out the speed brake. You know you're approaching Copenhagen when the uh, performance dips a bit. So over there on our right. Okay, so at 5,000 feet approaching Venom, we're going to do flap 1 and bring in the spoilers. One one nine decimal eight. Thanks for your service, Finn. Nine five one. Copenhagen approach for nine nine five one with you currently at a uh, Venom waypoint of uh, five thousand feet. Spare vectors for 22 left, information November's current and QH1016 for that 951. Three thousand feet, turn right, heading three two zero. Three thousand feet, I'm writing in three two zero uh, for that 951. So that's three thousand feet and right heading three two zero. 
I think we're going to try and get that speed down just a bit. Because it's very uh, turbulent here. Look at that sun. It's a blue looking cloud. Speed 180, uh, for another one. Just repeat the uh, left heading, please, for the 951. For the 951, left heading 190 degrees. You're clear on this from 2000 feet to intercept. Left 190, 2000 feet to intercept the ILS uh, for the 951. It's quite the turn. 190, 2000 feet. Six miles out. Uh, do you have any speed restrictions for the 951? We should be alright for the 951. I feel that 951 that is copied. If you're interested, I can have the official approach. Clear for the approach, feel 951. Right, we have an issue here, it's not descending. Feel So you're gonna redo that approach, it's not gonna work. Okay. We went to left clear to land for the 951. We'll give it a go. It's not gonna work though. We'll try gear down. Let's go to part disconnect. See what I can do here. Flaps three. Look at them wing mills. Oh, hello. Looks a bit too clear. <laughs> That's full. This is a really messy approach, but I need to crack the wind now. Touchdown. Versus green D cell. Yeah, but it wasn't the best arrival we've ever had, but unfortunately when you're time restricted, this stuff happens. Sixty knots manual braking. Let's vacate here. Flaps up. Fit 
Welcome to Castro, Texas, to stand out sound 1-5. Yankee Cross, runway 12. Sun Alpha 15, Bravo Yankee Cross 12, Finet 951. There we go. Passengers are probably like, what the hell just happened? I'm going to assume this is Bravo. Look at that landing light, it's really bright. Master switch on. So, Alpha 15. Alpha 15 is over here. We're currently via Bravo. Oh, okay, it's pretty simple. Okay, so it's just taxi here, and it's the second one on. Stopping the clock. One hour twenty nine. That was quicker than predicted. That's good. Okay, so we cross the runway here. This is Zulu and the next one's Yankee. A few British Airways around. There's three British Airways on that terminal. Little BA party. Here we have. I don't know why. The fact this is Windows update, it it just looks really strange. The sim. Um. Yeah. Uh, here is the gates here on our right. APU's just started. Pop on the bleed. Taxi light off. Actually, we'll put the dome light on. Just a dim dome. Alpha on four and alpha on five. Here we go. Oh god. It's going all so well. Stop. Pretty good that. Parking brake set, engine one, engine two, cut off. Fuel pumps off, beacon light off. Seatbelt signs off. There we go. And now we're getting going. Cool. Okay, we're going to switch this to uh, Unicom soon enough to listen to ATC. Perfect. And we'll get, turn that down. Nice, guys. So, welcome to um, Copenhagen. Um, it's been quite a nice flight. Hour and 29 minutes was not bad. Really nice sunset arrival. And um, yeah, I shall see you all back for the return back to Helsinki. And um, yeah, that's it. So see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.